Welcome to your Tutor Online Video Lessons. My name is Joel and today I will teach you how to identify parts of a polynomial and how to identify the like terms. I'm going to make a follow-up video on simplifying the polynomials and adding and subtracting. So come on back to the YouTube page and find that video when I post it. First I want to define all the terms for you. I'm going to start with a blank page. I'm going to have a little bit of a vocabulary lesson here. First we have monomials. Monomials is a number, a variable, or a string of numbers and variables that are all multiplied together. Um, and I'll give you a few examples. 7 is a monomial. x is a monomial. x y squared is a monomial. Negative 34. x squared y z cubed. All of those examples I gave you there are monomials. It's just a single term by itself. Numbers by themselves, like our 7 here, is a constant. So I'll write that for you here, constant. Okay. When we add or subtract different monomials together, we get a polynomial. So for the monomial examples I just gave you, if we just threw in some addition and subtraction signs in between each monomial, we get a polynomial. Polynomial. Um, I'm going to just define that as monomials added or subtracted together. Polynomials are easiest to work with when they are written in order from left to right with the largest exponent first and the constant last. So I'm going to go ahead and use those monomial examples and give you one big long polynomial. So we could have negative 34 x squared y z cubed, and I'll put that first because it has the biggest exponents, and then if we do a plus sign with x y squared, how about a minus sign for the x and a positive sign for the constant. Here is an example of a polynomial. Okay. Um, if there happens to be a case where there are two monomials with the same um, number of exponents, just pick one and go with it. Okay. Let me get uh, a few more definitions out of the way for you. There are two special kind of polynomials. One is a binomial is a polynomial with two terms. And all we mean by term is um, a monomial. Okay, So for an example of a binomial, let's say y to the fourth plus 8. Two terms. The y to the fourth is one term, the 8 is another term, two terms is a binomial. And then we have trinomials. is a polynomial with three terms. And um, an easy example there for that is x squared plus 3x minus 1. And remember those two binomial, like a bicycle has two wheels, tricycles have three wheels. Two terms, three terms. Okay? All right. Just a few more definitions here, and it's important to know these definitions when we get down to simplifying and adding and subtracting together polynomials. Um, that way you know what I'm talking about when we put together all the various parts of a polynomial. We also have degree. A degree is um, the largest exponent for a polynomial. So in that example of the polynomial I gave in the very first example, um, with the 334x <coughs> squared yz to the third, the degree is the 3 because it's the largest exponent. Okay. Coefficient. And this one is probably the most important part to know for when we get to the simplifying and um, adding and subtracting polynomials. The coefficient is the number that is in front of the string of variables. So here, the coefficient is negative 34. Monomials that aren't exactly the same 
except for this coefficient are called like terms. And let me just give you some more examples of like terms. Like terms are identical except for the coefficient. Okay, so if we had 3x squared y, we have 45x squared y, negative 12 x squared y. Those are all like terms. They all have x squared y, x squared y, and x squared y. The only thing that is different is this coefficient. So these are all like terms. Okay, But don't get yourselves tricked because 7x squared y, negative 12xy squared, and 2xy are not like terms because it has to be exactly exactly the same x squared and that's an x and y but that's a y squared so those are not like terms they have to be exactly the same x squared and y okay finally the process of combining like terms in the polynomial is called simplifying that's when you find these numbers that are like terms and you combine their coefficients to give something a little bit more simpler instead of a really long polynomial. It might be a shorter polynomial or a monomial. And that will be the subject of a follow-up lesson. Uh, so look for that um, in the next video on adding, subtracting, and simplifying polynomials, uh, which I'll probably post next week. Well, thanks for joining me for this lesson. It was a very basic introduction to the vocabulary words we're going to be looking at when we're dealing with polynomials and how to simplify and combine them. I hope it was helpful for you. You can help me help you by leaving comments and asking questions. You can send email joel at yourtutoronline.com or go over and like the Facebook page or connect with Google Plus in my circles. And if these videos are helpful for you, please share them with your classmates. And I'll see you next time. Happy studying.